Hi everyone, it's me Logan Quinn. As you can tell by the title, I'm showing you guys <coughs> how to make one of my favorite dishes. And you could make this for dinner, breakfast, lunch, doesn't matter. Personally, um, I'm sure that most people would probably um, make it for breakfast. But yeah, and I'm not using any meats or anything because of the fact that I'm vegetarian. Now, if you're not vegetarian, you could obviously incorporate some meat into this, but I'm not going to. So, let's get started. Things you're going to need are obviously eggs, milk, you could use soy milk, almond milk, anything like that, if you're lactose intolerant. But if you're not, just some good old um, fat-free milk. And some low-fat cottage cheese. You could skip this if you're allergic to cheese. And some herbs and some spices. So let's get started. First off, you want to crack your eggs. I'm going to take about three eggs. And as you can see, I have my eggs. Next, I'm adding my milk. You want to add your wet ingredients first because of the fact that it's just the way it's done. Your wet ingredients are done first. That way you get the wet ingredients out of the way. I'm going to add a spoonful of the cottage cheese. Next for spices and all that stuff, obviously I'm going to be adding some pepper and salt. Before I mix everything up. And some of the herbs and spices that I'm going to use are parsley flakes, oops, basil leaves, whole oregano, paprika, and garlic powder. Now, I'm going to take a bit of the parsley flakes, and this one has two different sides. It has a side, a bigger side, and it has a side for just, just a little bit. I'm going to use a side that has a little bit. And you want it to look like that at first. I know the lighting is terrible. I'm, I'm, uh, apologize. Next, I'm going to add basil leaves. You want to put just a little bit less than the parsley flakes because basil leaves are very strong. Next, I'm going to take and add some whole oregano. You want to add just a dash of garlic powder because garlic powder is extremely strong. and a dash of paprika. Next you want to mix those together. We're going to move on to the cooking of it. Now, I'm going to be using olive oil cooking spray, and this one is great value. 
doesn't matter what cooking spray you use, or you could use butter if you would prefer to use butter, but I'm not going to. And you want to lightly spray your pan and put your heat setting onto whatever heat setting you do, except for the highest heat setting. Unless, of course, you have um, really hungry kids, then you would obviously want to put it on the highest setting to get the thing done. <laughs> I put mine on medium. And you want to wait for that to um, start to warm up. And what this is really good for is because of the fact that spices and herbs are very good for you. Eggs are very good for you and stuff like that. Um, like I said, you can obviously add and take out things if you want to. You're just going to put it in there. And the cheese, remember, that we have put is going to melt up and all that. I'm just going to use a nice spatula. And you want to keep working it until until it gets consistency of scrambled eggs. It smells really good. Another herb you could add is um, rosemary, which is one of my favorite herbs to use because rosemary is such a such it smells so good and it's such a good herb for you I tend to flip my eggs in order to make them um, cook faster and then you can just break it up a little bit And that is how you make the eggs. It's very simple, fairly simple. Next thing I'm gonna add, I'm gonna work on the toast. And the toast I'm gonna be using is just some regular 100% um, whole wheat bread. You're going to obviously want to open it. And just put two slices in. My toaster has a dial setting. And I put it on two. Because you don't want your bread to burn, but you want your bread to cook. And I'm going to be using butter on that. And the butter I'm going to be using is right here, which is, I can't believe it's not butter. You could use spray butter, but we do not have spray butter in the house, so I'm going to be using the tub of butter. And 
I'm going to be getting this kind of a bowl, which is, or not bowl, a plate, just a nice big plate. And I'm going to take out the egg. Now, I'm going to be adding some cheese on top of my eggs because I love cheese. And there are the Pop that on there. Now take a butter knife. Open up your butter. And just spread that onto your toast. Now if you want to, you could put some um, cinnamon sugar on this, but I don't want to. and take some orange juice or any kind of juice that you want and your plate is finished so yeah um, leave comments, see back and all that stuff down below in the comment section comment, subscribe, whatever um, let's see how it tastes Mmm, that's good. Um, what I also like to do is I like to take and put the eggs between the bread as like kind of an egg sandwich. You can do whatever you want, but yeah. Until next time.